Uh, please like, share, comment. All right, like, share, comment, subscribe. Also consider joining membership. Members get early access. All right, uh, silver members get early access. Everyone gets early access, actually. Gold members get shout out. Platinum members, you get to help me make videos. All right, it's almost like a sponsorship level. Hello, everyone. Welcome back. In this episode here, I'm going to show you some flaws that I was talking about in my previous episode about the Mantis Laser Academy, how it just shuts down when you don't want it to shut down. So first of all, I'm let me show you the, the level I'm on. I'm, I'm just on uh, shoot from guard or low ready single rep. OK, that's the target I have chosen. And there's a little small circle that says control on the upper left. And uh, that allows me to control the functions here. You'll see what I'm talking about. So that's how small the target has to be. Any bigger, I have to turn off all the lights. And uh, who wants to turn off all the lights? OK, <laughs> like really, who wants to turn off all the lights? All right, so <laughs> I had to turn one more light on just to make a point. Anyways, um, so in order for me to, for the app to capture the target, I, if I make the target bigger on the projector, I have to turn off all the lights and who wants to shoot in the dark? So maybe Mandis, if you can fix that, that would be awesome, all right? So let's just uh, get it ready. And while I get it ready, okay, I'm gonna use the, the Mantis Blackbeard it's a hollow sun red dot. I like the hollow sun red dot. This is a pistol with a buffer tube. All right, buffer tube. Um, there's no sights. It's, this is just for laser dry firing inside. Uh, I would not recommend a AR pistol for anything other than laser dry firing. Anyways, um, that's what I have, and that's what I'm using. No other sights, just red dot. And again, just for laser dry firing. Um, my other rifle has... <laughs> another red, different red dot. So that's kind of how I'm, I prefer red dots over any, uh, other targeting systems. Anyways, low, low guard, single shot. All right, let's, let's just start. So I'm gonna shoot the round control. I don't know if you can see it on the, uh, on the screen there, on the screen capture, but I'm just gonna, there you go, okay. So I'm just trying to show you Okay, it's only one shot. So while it's doing that, let's give it some time. It's not a lot of time, actually. Uh, let's just go over what I have. It's the Bla Mantis, Mantis Blackbeard laser bolt auto resetting trigger. It is safety checked because that's a bolt. There's a battery. There's, that's part of the uh, bolt system. And uh, obviously, I've been using it, right? So yes, safety. Safety first, people. Okay, so there you go. There it is. Disappeared. It disappeared, right? And it goes like that. So when it's not in, when the app is not in a that targeting part of the app, right, where you're shooting and it's acquiring the target and showing the the laser hits and everything. When it when it gets off of that and goes into like the menu or any other option, this is what happens. Very frustrating, Mantis. Fix that. All right. All right. So now that you know the, the the shortcomings of this app, hopefully you'll know what to expect because it can be frustrating while you're looking at this and then it just shuts off for whatever reason. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and shoot. It just did it again. All right. It just shut down again. Oh my God, I have to do this real quick. So you can't. You don't even have time to look at your score. So, anyways, let me uh, hit the control circle on the upper left. We'll get it started. Ready. Oh, I just reset the damn thing. There we go. All right. All right, so let's go into settings. So before I do this, I want to show you something else here that is kind of unique to Mantis Laser Academy, but not only to Mantis Laser Academy to also dry fire online. Um, you can calibrate your height over bore, your offset. So if you have the Blackbeard, 
All right, if you have a black a black beard and you're using it in your AR, AR lower, and you have some kind of sighting system on, on top, red dot, scope, iron sights, there's usually a height over height over the board. And since you're so close to the wall, you're probably going to be off all the time. That's a, that's one of the downfalls of these laser apps, OK, laser dry fire apps. Well, Mantis did fix that. Uh, there's also another company called Dry Fire Online that also does something like that. But I'm going to just show you. Uh, you'll get this little crosshairs. All right, crosshairs. And I'm going to put it all the way up, if I can, where, where the Mantis is, the Mantis logo. OK. And then that way it shows up, because if I do a lower, the where it says shoot to calibrate gets in the way. So I'm going to aim for the Mantis logo, and I'm I am aiming for the Mantis logo. And you can see that it calibrated. And the reason it's that way is because the laser's that way and I didn't I didn't move it. I didn't move it, you know. I've gone through three Mantis Blackbeards and I just don't want to mess with it. This has been working. I got three batteries. That's one good thing about it. Anyways, so uh, I'm going to push apply. All right. So calibrate. If you have the Mantis Blackbeard, that's what's awesome about the Mantis Laser Academy. You can calibrate for the height over bore. Now you can have fun. The only downside is, and I've, and I've talked about this before, OK, so. When it's not on and you're just shooting, um, the laser picks up wherever and it and it properly zeroes it in. But let me show you something, if it'll let me. Okay. If it will let me. If I shoot low. Yeah. Okay. If I shoot low, it shows as zero because. The laser hit outside the box, and I got to shoot control before it shuts down again. Ready. So let's see. I, I shoot the. I'll shoot. I'll shoot him in the waist. Right there. See, gives me score zero because the laser shot out out of the box. Although I hit the target, all right, because my height over bore, it gives me a score zero. Manis, you need to fix that. Okay, if you if you if you're gonna sell this product to work with the Laser Academy, you need to fix that. All right, now let's let's have some fun. Ready. I'll I'll, I'll shoot from this. Oh, I didn't pick it up. I didn't pick it up. Wow. Uh, another downfall of this is that it does not, and I'll go into multi. The multi shoot, it doesn't pick up the laser. Ready. Okay. I was... So, from this position to moving around like that. Okay, one more time. So, you see, you'll see me. You normally would not hold a gun or your rifle like this at all. Getting faster. Okay. Anyways, uh, let's uh, enough of that. Let's let's go to a different one. Although I do like the system, it just needs improvement. Just like the Blackbeard when they first put it out, it just has a lot of um, I don't know um, quality control issues, is what I would say. So when I when I bought the Mantis, when I bought the Mantis, okay, I. Got a coupon code, all right. I got a coupon code for the Laser Academy. I didn't know what the hell Laser Academy was. Later on, it turns out this is this is the Laser Academy. And so, uh, if you go into your, let me see, is it settings? I have to do this, or it's going to shut down. Where it says Manage Account, you have to sign in. And once you sign in, you go to Manage Account. OK, you go to Manage Account. It takes you to the Manus website, and that's where you put in your code. Because originally, what I did was I went in here, and I put 
restore in-app purchase. And then that takes me to the app store. And then I thought I had to put in some kind of code there. It didn't work. So manage account takes you to the Manus website. And then you'll be able to put, there's an area where you can put your coupon code and then it will open up all the pro features. I haven't used, I haven't used much at all with the, the Blackbeard. I got to hurry up and pick it because it will shut down. Okay. I didn't, there's not too many you can use, you know, um, it's, it's, it's really designed. It seems like it's kind of more geared toward a pistol, uh, th I, but this is a pistol, but anyways, you know what I'm talking about? Just a pistol pistol, like regular handgun pistol. Anyways. So that's, that's, and another thing, there you go. We finally acquired targets. And again, um, if I, if I make the target bigger, it can't acquire, it can't follow the uh, QR codes. It can't seem to ke catch on the QR code for any reason. It has to be small. It has to be small. Oh, geez, don't make me smaller. If I make it smaller, oh. Let's see if that works. Let it readjust. Okay. Nope, still not picking up. Oh, my gosh. Anyways. Yeah, I have to make it smaller. So I have to make the target smaller to make it work. Okay. Look at all this empty space. Now, it does work larger, but I have to turn off all the lights and shoot in the dark. Who in the hell wants to shoot in the dark? All right. Nobody. Nobody. Fix that, Manus. Okay. So, multi-shoot. Okay. I'm going to, there's a little circle on the, on the left says control. That's how you control the functions. You can just shoot that area to get it going. All right. There we go. So, I'm just going to shoot like this. Normally, you would not do this, but I, I want to show you. Oh, okay. This is one shot. Let's just finish this and I'll go into multi shot. Ready. I'm averaging one five. Let's see if I can do it faster. Oh, not too bad. Okay. Normally you would not just hold your <laughs> your rifle out like this and then you know, you'd be a little bit more like like this, right? Anyways, that was just for video demonstration. All right, I gotta kind of exaggerate. So, um, okay, that's that. All right, let, let me get out of here. Let's just go to let's just go to instead of uh, low ready. Let's go to the uh, open shoot single target. And this is you don't need a uh, a code for this. You can just go ahead and do it. Let's see if I increase it, if it will acquire the target. Oh, no. Okay. All right. I want to make it a little bit larger so you guys can see it. Manus, you got to fix that. You got to be, you know, I want the lights on and this still to work. Okay. I don't want to shoot in the dark. Nobody wants to shoot in the dark. All right. So, uh, all right. Multi-shoot. Okay. So, the Blackbeard, they they kind of market this as you could, you know, pull pull the trigger really fast. You could do like it shoots ten times in a second or something if you could keep up. You probably can't. But what's the point, <laughs> all right, of having this app <laughs> trying to work with this system if the app can't keep up? Okay, I'll show you. So um, I shot more than 24 rounds. This app cannot even keep up. All right. Uh, now, not that I, I, other apps that I've used don't keep up either, but they do a lot better than the Mantis 
laser academy. So Mantis, you got Mantis, you got to fix that too. Um, I don't know. Get your engineers, get them working on it. All right. So uh, last thing. Oh, see, see, there it goes. Just cuts out. All right, I'm back. I gotta quickly do this before it before it uh, shuts down on me. Uh, the other thing I noticed, and I probably mentioned this, and I'll and I'll keep mentioning it in the video. Um, the batteries, it sucks up a lot of batteries. Like, I don't know what it's doing. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, I don't know what it's doing, but it sucks up way more batteries than some of the other apps that I use. Okay, that, that includes iTarget, the old iTarget, the new iTarget sucks. Uh, even Strikeman, Strikeman, uh, G-Sight, Laser Hit. Am I missing any other ones? Um, the battery life seems to last longer using those apps versus laser, the Mantis Laser Academy. And so uh, that's another thing I want to point out. So you're not going to get a lot of time on this. It's kind of limited unless you got it plugged in, which I, I don't. I could, but I, I don't. So uh, a, lot of, a lot of things to work on especially if you're going to use the Blackbeard. So if you're, if, you're, if you're intending to use the Blackbeard with this app, you might be a little disappointed again, <laughs> again. Otherwise, it, it does work for like single shots, maybe slowly shooting. Like if I, if I shoot, okay, I'm going to hit that control. I'm going to hit that control. Oh, I don't have to wait. I just, I just keep going, okay. Um, so if that's if that's the way you dry fire, then this is not a problem. You know, I'm not sure what that green dot is. I think that's just the center, or it's a blue dot um, in a blue square. Uh, I guess that's the center. I'll just shoot the center. Let's see what the targets are. If you shoot. The cranium, it's 10. If you shoot the chin, it's an 8. Shoulder, 7. Elbow, 7. Kidney, liver, it's a 0. Um, and I suspect that it's a 0 because my laser is shooting below the target. So let me, uh, I'm going to have to. I have to be a little creative, and I have to take my laser upside down, shoot with the red dot. Oh, I, should, I hit control. Okay, I, I got to compensate for this. Even lower, jeez. Even lower. I can't even see the target. Anyways, <laughs> oh, I, I can't because the laser is just always hitting up. I thought I could maybe upside down. Do the it, no, it doesn't work. Okay, so that's if I if I hit the target. Let's see if I hit the hand. That's a negative twenty-five. All right, let's see if I hit the arm. Oh, that's a zero. Negative 25. I got to hit the shoulder. Negative 25. Uh, let's see here. Negative uh, 30. If I hit the heart, negative 35. Cranium, the victim, the hostage cranium, negative 40. Okay, so that gives you an idea of the score. Anyways. I want to end this episode. Um, the Mantis, I, when this is working, the, when the Mantis Blackbeard is working, it's awesome. As far as the Laser Academy with the Mantis Blackbeard, not quite awesome. Doable, okay, fun, but not awesome. So if Mantis, you can make this, make this app awesome with the Blackbeard. All right. Now you got an awesome app, an awesome resetting trigger, 
you're going to sell out quick. Until then, mm, they need to work on it. Anyways, <laughs> I'm going to conclude this episode. Uh, please like, share, comment. All right, like, share, comment, subscribe. Also consider joining membership. Members get early access. All right. Uh, silver members get early access. Everyone gets early access, actually. Gold members get shout out. Platinum members, you get to help me make videos. All right. It's almost like a sponsorship level. Until next time, everybody. Bye bye.